Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through depth first search guys. So this is also one of the searching technique. So in our previous lecture, we have gone through breadth first search, right? So in that it occurred in breadth. So now depth in terms of depth. So first it goes to the leftmost and then it comes back and then it comes back, then it comes back, then it comes to the roots next side. Like that it's going to come in terms of depth. So it initially it goes down. And from there it starts moving up, down, up, down, up, down like that. So there are more disadvantages in this, but let us go through them so that you'll be having a clear idea. Okay. So it is a recursive algorithm for traveling, travel, traversing a tree or a graph. Okay. So it is a, it is nothing but DFS because it starts from the root, follows each path to the greatest depth node by moving down or to the next. Okay. So the depth first search uses a stack. So that used FIFO. And this used stack. If you is nothing but first in first out. There's nothing but your queue, right? So here it is using stack. Okay. Okay. So what are the disadvantages, guys? Sorry, what are the advantages and disadvantages? So the advantage is nothing but it requires less memory when compared to our previous BFS, guys. So it requires less memory as it only needs to store the store a stack nodes on the path of the root or root node add to the current node. Okay. So it takes less time to reach the goal node than compared to breadth first search. It's better than breadth first search, but it's not so efficient, guys, basically. So the disadvantage is that there is the possibility that many states keep on recursing and there is no guarantee of finding the solution. So if there is a huge depth or if there are many repeating things, it will be a huge confusion, guys. Okay. And high chance of infinite loops when the graphs are really large in depth. So basically if the depth of or the levels are 1000, is it easy to do with use by using this depth first search guys because it goes 1000 levels below and after that it starts moving up and again down again that will be a huge issue. Fine? Okay. So basically in breadth first search please remember that backtracking is available guys. Okay. So initially we will be start. let us assume our goal node is G. Okay. So we started. I told you we will be going through depth. So to the left A, again to the left B, again to the left D. So now there is no chance to go down. So return back to up. So we reached B. Again, what is the next node we can reach, reach, reach is E. So after that, again, move back, move back, again, move to the next node. Again, move to the next node. So we finally reached G. So again, if we didn't find here, so we'll be traveling back here. Again, we reach H, H to I, I to K, again, K to back to J. So in this way, it's going to travel, guys. So if you observe here, the traversing is in terms of depth. So this is nothing but depth first search, guys. It's really simple. Okay, so in the next lecture, we'll be going through the differences between breadth first search and depth first search. Thank you. Thanks for watching.